Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first time to visit Dude RV, please click on the subscribe button down below, right down there. I post new content every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time, and man, you don't want to miss it. We go all kinds of cool places. I've been set up here at Dam Site, Texas, or Texas Dam Site, depends on where you look. It doesn't show up on Google Maps yet, but I'm working on correcting that. We're actually just below the Denison Dam on Lake Texoma. Interesting little campsite. But we're gonna pack up, we're gonna head across the lake and go pay a visit to East Burns Run. So come on with me, let's go see East Burns Run. East Burns Run, Lake Texoma. We don't have our site yet. I got here a little bit early. We're gonna we're gonna be over that way. So right now I'm just I'm here at one of the boat ramps. So we're gonna go down here and set up a time lapse camera. I'm gonna bust out the scooter. We're gonna go do the FPV run and see what there is to see in East Burns Run. Made it down to the dock. This, this is unique. This is something I have yet to see before. This is both a courtesy dock and a fishing dock. They've made it big enough to accommodate both activities. It's the boat ramps right there. Lake is looking really, really low. But you can fish on this side. And someone's actually put in a brush pile, although the water's a little too shallow right there for a cropping. Right now, Burns Run East. I just had to do a video segment under. It's like the the monster truck Saturday, 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 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Have a group pavilion. With a vault toilet, great big cooker. Looks like there's a hiking trail. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a hiking trail. Anyway, let's go see some more stuff. Well, some of the best views here at East Burns Run are over here at the water only sites. Look at that, man. Such a great view. All right, let's go see some more stuff. East Burns Run, Burns Run East, and you want the best possible site. I'm gonna have to say it's this pull pull through number 36. Look at that, just right there, beachside, full connections, concrete pad. How? That's so cool. All right, I found out why we can't get into the day use area. And that is because 
of course i'm not sure if they want me sharing this or not but somebody buried a backhoe in the mud they were trying to pull something out of the water and apparently the, the backhoe got pulled into the water so. <laughs> go figure east burns run lake texoma this is almost an idyllic 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 i say it's almost an idyllic campground you can see the track hoe over there they're trying to get it out i guess they're just cleaning out the swim area you can't see it it's too far out all right let's go find some more stuff burns run east lake texoma the Oklahoma side of the Texoma. We are officially camping. I'm set up, finally. All right, so you're probably wondering, that uh, Texas dam site video was, was pretty short, wasn't very long, not much in the way of time lapse. You know, I just, I just had a gut feeling that I shouldn't leave my RV unattended. I just didn't feel real comfortable. And I couldn't specifically identify why, but I just, you know, okay, I'm done here. I'm gonna go find something better, different. I'm glad I did, because this is a much better campsite. And I was talking to a subscriber. I'm sorry, I, I don't remember your name, but we met here at burns run east thank you for your insight and your information uh that gentleman was uh he said that there have been some people killed over there <laughs> not as bad now as it once was is what the park host here told me okay still i'm glad that i made the move because this is this is a very pretty park as you can see I can like walk right down to the water. It's not like over at the dam site where there was no way I was going to access the water because it was just so far down. One of the weird things about this campground is check out is not until four o'clock. Check in, six o'clock in the evening. Six o'clock, check in. Yeah, well, I said, what am I supposed to do before then? He said, I don't, whatever, I, I was parked over by the boat ramp. He said, you, you can't be there. The day you see is closed, you have to get out of the park. So I, I moved sites. Not complaining, just, just telling you how it is. We're doing the deep dive into East Burns Run and you ought to know. If you can't park your RV in day use, they don't want you bringing it in and parking it by the boat ramp. All right, we're gonna go see what else we can get into. Lake Texoma, East Burns Run. Site number seven. Remember us talking about the Osage Orange Tree? There's a whole bunch of them right there because that's an Osage orange tree. I got a couple of catfish lines set up with some smelly bait and some hot dog. Maybe we'll catch a catfish, maybe not. Either way, we've seen everything there is to see with the exception of the day use area, and that's, that's still closed down. Maybe this evening they'll have it open back up. We'll see. Meanwhile, just sitting here watching the lake, sweating, because it's kind of hot. Late in the day here at Burns Run East Campground, but they opened up the day use area. So there's actually a swim beach with picnic tables, as well as a great big huge play structure for the kiddos. So if you're camping out here with your kids and you've given them way too much sugar and they're tired of being in the water, then come over here and play on the big old play structure. 
Looks like they have a soccer field too. How about that? Kicking some balls. To be October, it's very warm. But we're, we're about 90 degrees sitting here in the sun. I'm not complaining though. I like the hot. I'm just sitting here waiting on a big old catfish to come along and sample my free samples. If I was going to be here for a couple days, this, this would be an ideal place to deploy the new little boat and an ideal day. But I'm rolling out of here tomorrow. I don't want to I don't want to do it. I'll just wait. Tomorrow. I've got a, a good site to fish. I've got a brush pile and the crappie are supposed to be biting. The boat will be deployed tomorrow. Today, we'll just sit here and watch the fish jump out there in the middle of the channel. While we're just sitting here, check out this time lapse I put together. Tell me what, post down there in the comments what you like about it, what you think would be different, better. Your feedback is most greatly appreciated. Wasn't that just an incredible time lapse? The sunset. Here, you, you get to see it again. Look at that. How cool is that? This is, this is a campsite you gotta come see. If you're in North Texas, East, East Burns Run, and I've been told West Burns Run is even better. But this, this is a really nice campsite very quiet easy water access and <clears throat> i mean you can't i mean the sun's right in your face when i turn this around but 
Look at this. I mean, how cool is that? I'm coming back to this one. Kind of wishing I'd have booked two days here, but it is what it is. I found a hidden gem. All right, so I'm going to put the camera away. About to start cooking some supper, and I'm not having bear spray tonight. Just doing some beer brats and green beans. And then I'm going to go sit down here by the water and see if I can catch a catfish for supper tomorrow. So stay tuned. I'll be back in the morning. So I'm cooking supper here on the grill. I know I said I was done for the night. But I can't be done if, if I got a fish on the line, right? Sun is so bright I can hardly look forward. But I was watching my line. I've got some blood bait, doe bait stuff. And it looks like I may actually have something on the hook. Maybe not. alarm good morning we are where the heck are we we are at East Burns Run on Lake Texoma just across the Denison Dam spent one night here and it was a very quiet night the park was not at capacity but there again it was a Thursday plenty of spots available even over even in the the full connection loop but I wanted to be lakeside just be just because I like being lakeside did a little fishing with uh, catfish bait last yesterday uh, I did not catch anything I didn't catch any catfish I did snag a, a black bass as I was bringing in my lines last night that was kind of unsnagging a fish in the dark. Never very fun. I like East Burns Run, and I, I would, would look forward to coming back because I want I want to put the little boat I want to put the little boat in that in that creek channel there. That looks like an inviting opportunity. And right off of from where I'm camping, there is a, a marker. I noticed that this morning. Uh, there's a, apparently a brush pile down there. And from what some of my neighbors have told me, they catch fish just from the bank here. So I look forward to coming back to this again and spending more than one night. I was kind of frustrated yesterday when I was told I could not leave the RV in the boat ramp parking until my uh, site was available. They actually told me I couldn't even be in the park with my RV. Uh, I could go to the day use area, but they had that closed because someone got a piece of equipment stuck and so that for safety reasons, they had it closed off. Why should I be punished if some guy makes a mistake on a backhoe? The hours of the check-in hours are weird on these uh, Texoma Corps of Engineer campgrounds. Uh, it's four o'clock checkout and six o'clock check-in. 
which is way later than most of us RVers who are on the move. You know, I'm, I'm packed up, I'm ready to go. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I want to get to my next st spot in a, within a couple of hours so that I can pre prepare lunch and get ready for supper and deploy, as if, if you will. So the hours of operation are kind of awkward. You know, not unworkable. But it's just, you need to know that. It can be a challenge getting in to your site until six o'clock. And it's just rude to go and beat on the door of the camper that's in your spot and asking them when they're gonna leave. I think their, their primary uh, demographic of camper is the, the local who lives nearby. And that is why they have such odd hours of operation. But I like it, nice little campground. That's the only real complaint that I have. So in conclusion, East Burns Run, this, this is de a destination camp, campsite or a waypoint because it's not too far off of uh, 45 or not too far off of 75. If you're traveling up 75, it's only a, like five miles, if that. I think that about says it all. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a pretty campsite. Pretty campground. If you have a boat, this is good access to Lake Texoma. All right, I'm now I'm starting to repeat myself. So I'm gonna close it out right here. Hey, if you've not already done so, please click on the subscribe button, it's right down there. And remember to hit the bell as well. I post new content every, new videos. I post new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. If you've been following along, Thank you. I'm, I'm, so, I'm very, very honored that you choose to spend some of your precious time watching my video production. That, that really means a lot to me. It really does. It really does. So thank you for that. From here, we're headed to Caney Creek. Caney Creek Park, another Corps of Engineer campground. So make sure you subscribe and, and stand by because that'll be showing up in a couple weeks on Sunday morning. I'm done. Y'all come back now, you hear?